Hey guys, and welcome back to JavaScript Essentials. In this lesson, we're going to quickly go over where you should place your JavaScript. Now, there's a lot of debate about if you should put your JavaScript in the head of your HTML or in the body, uh, near the top or the bottom of your body. Uh, so I just wanted to quickly go over when you should put your JavaScript in which area. The first part is our head. So this is where you put, you know, your title. And that's just, you know, basic HTML. We all know that. But if you wanted to, you could also put some JavaScript in here. Now I'm going to write some inline JavaScript. And you can write anything in here. This is just regular JavaScript. You don't have to worry about knowing what this is right now. But know that you can put JavaScript in the head. That being said, I would highly advise against doing that. Uh, just because a lot of JavaScript relies on the DOM, the document object model, which is basically your HTML structure. Now, if you have any JavaScript that's loading in the head, right, just like CSS, your browser is going to load your page from top to bottom. So if in here, your JavaScript is trying to grab an element that has not been rendered yet in the body, which is in here, then it's either going to produce an error or it's going to give you unpredictable results. And that really depends on how fast your page can load, how fast the JavaScript can load, how fast the user's computer is. There's too many variances that we just can't control. So generally speaking, when you have to work with anything that's in the DOM, don't put it in the head, put it in the body. Now there are two places in the body where you can put it. So you can have, you know, your regular HTML in here, and you can put your JavaScript, you know, in here at the top. And for some scripts like analytics, that might be best because Google Analytics, for example, will ask you to put it at the top of your body element. And Google Analytics, all it is is JavaScript. Now, the reason that they ask you to put it at the top is simply because it doesn't rely on anything else for a little while. It can take a second, it can load, often it's asynchronous, so it's not going to slow anything down anyways. If you click a button, Google Analytics doesn't necessarily fire at that time, uh, unless you're doing some custom analytics work, but really, until then, not a big deal. Now, JavaScript that you write is most likely going to be working with your DOM. It's going to be working with... Uh, any sort of HTML that you've already written that your page is going to load, whether that's through Python or PHP or Node.js, any sort of JavaScript that's in your DOM needs to be loaded before you can grab it. And that's why you put your JavaScript in here. Now, what this has done for me, all I did was type script tab. Uh, that's just a little plugin for the browser that I'm using. I'm using Sublime. The plugin is called Emmet. It's really nice. Not the point right now. But what this does is it allows me to quickly type something out, hit tab, and it auto completes. So you're going to see a lot of that throughout the rest of this class. Now, in here, we have our type. Text is equal to JavaScript, which we didn't use up here because our browser knows that this is a script. This is only going to be JavaScript. The only type of script your browser can ever run is JavaScript. The front end web developer stack only ever has three languages, and technically they're not all actually languages. You have HTML, which is markup. You have CSS, which is, you know, essentially markup. Although it's getting a lot more complex these days, and you can start adding variables. That's not quite in the spec yet as of uh, mid-2017, but variables are coming. That's going to be very cool. And JavaScript, which has probably made the most progress since it was born over 20 years ago. I'm getting a little off track here. This bottom part here where it says script type is equal to text slash JavaScript, we want to put SRC is equal to JavaScript.js. And all this does is say, look, Mr. Browser, whichever one you are, you're going to load a script for me. Load this one. And in our JavaScript.js file, we do not need to have our script in there. Now, moving forward, we're not going to actually write any JavaScript in line on our page. We might do it in the browser. We might do it in CodePen, somewhere a little more interactive. If I have to, I'm going to use Sublime, but generally I'm going to try to stay away from that. Uh, the reason for that is 
JavaScript is meant to be interactive, and I think teaching uh, in a more interactive environment is going to be better for the overall learning experience. So to quickly top this off, where should you put your JavaScript? Well, if you're uncertain, always put it just before your closing body tag. Don't put it in the middle of your page. Don't put it at the top of your body tag. Don't even put it in your header. If you're uncertain, put it at the bottom. Now, if you're using a, a library like jQuery, which you may or may not be familiar with at this point, but libraries should always be loaded at the bottom unless specifically told otherwise. There are some frameworks that say, yeah, you know, load your JavaScript library and it'll look a lot like this and just move it into the, the head of your script. And that's that's fine. If they tell you to do that, then absolutely do it that way. However, again, if you're uncertain, just take your entire script or the script's HTML line rather and just throw it at the bottom of your page. This way, your page can load everything. Your browser can load everything. And by the time the JavaScript is ready to render, all your HTML is there. The only thing that's going to be missing is the closing body tag and the closing HTML tag, which JavaScript generally does not care about. It just wants opening tags, generally speaking. So that's that. Uh, to quickly wrap up, if you don't know where to put your JavaScript, put it at the bottom of any page. If you have to write any inline JavaScript, right, put it at the bottom of your page as well. Again, let that DOM, that document object model load.